reason why we started to finance this professorship in industrial material cycling now 10 years ago was that we wanted a long-term relationship with academia to fund research and development in the area of recycling for us and also for our customers. Today there are two uh, professors and there are 10 PhD students. This cooperation has been very successful and we see that this group is still the strongest group as, as far as we know in, in the world in the field of recycling. And some of the projects that we have launched together is to recycle lithium-ion batteries. And lithium-ion batteries is used in most in different applications, in mobile phones, in laptops. And the recycling of these materials are today not very sophisticated. And we, we, together with Chalmers, we've developed processes which make it possible to recycle more of the lithium-ion batteries. Another area where we together with one of our customers, Axel Nobel, have developed a process to recycle titanium oxide. And titanium oxide is used in all white plastics and paint. And there's no recycling taking place of titanium oxide today. And the process is to separate the organic fraction of the paint or plastic waste from the inorganic and reuse the titanium oxide in new applications like in paint or in plastics. A third example is the recycling of rare earth metals which presently are not recycled and we have projects together with Chalmers to recycle neodymium magnets for instance which are used in most uh, magnets, strong magnets today in windmills, in electric cars and in hybrid cars. Those are three examples of what we have been doing over those 10 years. If we look ahead, this, uh, one of the problems that we try to solve is to handle fly ash from waste incineration plants, which is presently being landfilled, either in salt mines or at old uh, lime quarries. And we have developed a process where we can leach out uh, the salt in the fly ash and take the residue and be able to landfill it locally. And the next step in this is to use this fly ash, the washed fly ash, to use it in concrete and replace some of the cement used in concrete. Last year the Commission launched this circular economy package and in the circular economy package there are a lot of new proposals to, to get a more circular society and to improve the recycling and to, to make possible to repair different pro, uh, materials that or products that we presently use is very important. One area which we think will come more and more is to recycle plastics. And we have together with Chalmers developed processes to be able to recycle thermoplastic material pleasantly uh, either energy recovery or landfill in Europe. And the technology is to use a type of binder that you can have small contamination in the plastic and still be able to use it and replace it fit with virgin material. So more of the plastics can be material recycled than energy recovered. And which, which one of the trends that we see in society today.